how concerned are you that rural spending seems to have so drastically gone down so two concerns nidhi firstly with the government consistently casting suspicion on its own data uh, every time you get data that doesn't quite align with what the government would like us to believe uh, it shies away from its reality and instead starts casting questions about the quality of data now some of these questions uh, in some instances may well be valid but for the most part it is incumbent on government before it goes into doing a survey to be completely confident of how it goes about doing its survey it sets up expert committees the expert committees actually have genuine experts who have validated these processes so once the data comes out we should stop from shying part of data is to argue over the data and how data and and ask questions of data quality that is in the interests of democracy so we should put this data out and fear and hiding away from data is something that is a deeply deeply worrying trend when government suspects its own data collection what should citizens do it was in the month of september and october when the government came out on an every but sector by sector that, but these are like the fiscal no, projections are no, great no, not at all the the all the data that you have quoted are all lagging data. They are all about quarter. No, no, but the forecasts aren't are no, not no, exactly optimistic. Is, no, forecast is also about quarter two. It's not about projecting for the larger. No, no, no. The SBI data is, is for two. the fiscal. Quarter for the fiscal. two. No, fiscal is yes is because for the whole of this fiscal. quarter. From six point one, no, they no, brought it down to five percent. No, no, because quarter two, because of quarter two's projection of four point two or four point six percent, they brought down the overall annual uh, rate exactly proportion proportionately. Exactly. So has every every no, international agency. No, what I'm saying agency. is that it was only in quarter two and that too towards the end of quarter two when the government st uh, stepped in and they so are. So you're like, saying the impact of those decisions will be felt later. Yes, it will be felt later, okay. and we need to. Yeah, get more let, data let, around let me leading get, indicators let me get not summation. lagging indicators overall there is a feeling that maybe this government is a little reluctant to release data that may not be completely flattering the gdp data i think when questions are raised about it isn't necessarily um blaming a politicization of the gdp data i think that there are questions about the methodology which was actually put in place during the okay, congress so, administration but yeah. there is a feeling that maybe this government is uncomfortable with data that doesn't go with its narrative and this data you know doesn't come out or gets leaked out by the business standard we're taking care of the supply side and doing nothing about the demand side so you've given a lot of benefits to the to the corporates and everybody else which they need i mean they needed it but it's an unbalanced amount given there and nothing done about demand because if demand doesn't go up that's the oil that goes into the machine if the demand goes up then the industry will put up more factories then employment will go up and the virtuous cycle starts so i've been saying it from july they've done nothing about the demand side so it's very i think when kiran was saying it's a small sliver that she's totally wrong there are 300 million in the middle income group in urban areas and they feel that nothing has been done for them and therefore they are not spending now we'll come to the rural area because it's very good to quote macro figures without getting into micro there are pockets where it's growing there are pockets where it's falling so when you give a macro figure that worries me a lot when i come from industry because you got to look at where demand is growing learn from them and start giving money where demand is not growing so the government is not i don't think they are hiding figures but when there's a whole area of gloom they think the october they think that the october december figure is going to show an improvement not there is not going to be they are so they think ki hum to 2 saal ke baad no, aapko no, report dekhenge all i'm saying is uh. they want to reveal that as he said april to september we were down october to Dece october november december we've started showing some growth january march the optimism will arrive if we don't grow in october november december and we don't grow in january february march then there's a massive massive problem for the government 